Assalamualaikum dear viewers, Shweta Madhav is here with an experiment of the electrical machines lab, and uh, today we are going to discuss and implement the circuit diagram of in, on this trainer uh, that will be the magnetization characteristics. And before doing this experiment, we need to know what is the magnetization characteristic of a DC generator. Now, magnetization characteristics are the curve that can be plotted between the field current and the no load voltage is the E naught. In the separately excited DC generator, we need to excite the field winding from the separately excited DC source and armature is connected with the voltmeter in parallel to measure the no load voltage from the armature. And what is the magnetic characteristics? That uh, magnetic characteristics is the curve or the characteristics that can be uh, plotted between or that can be obtained between the field current okay uh, that will be given to the field excitation to the field windings and also the voltage that can be generated or produced from the armature of the DC machine. So this was the little bit intro of the magnetic characteristics of the DC generator. In this experiment, again we are using the separately excited DC generator to obtain the magnetic uh, saturation or magnetic characteristics in this uh, experiment. And what we can, what we have to do in this experiment, we have uh, armature is connected uh, with the uh, voltmeter that we can obtain the reading of the no load voltage over here. And also the primer is connected and excite the field winding of this DC generator and take the different readings of the uh, you no, uh, different readings of the field current and obtain the no load voltage which is to be generated from the armature before doing this experiment we have to see the circuit diagram that will be implemented on this trainer so this is the two winding of the dc generator field winding and the armature winding the armature winding is directly connected uh, with the pa uh, parallelly connected with the voltmeter okay dc voltmeter and this field winding is connected in uh, in series with the emitter to measure the field current and that will be connected with the separately excited dc source so we have to pull the wires and again repeat the experiment and obtain the values of the armature voltage at the different values of the field current and the field voltage okay so this is the primer portion okay simple a permanent magnet dc motor we are using in this experiment to rotate the shaft of the dc generator and the primer function is that to uh, produce the electric uh, to produce the mechanical energy that will be mechanical energy will be input to this generator now as you can see here are the two windings of this uh, generator okay armature winding and the field winding this winding is separately excited from the dc source and this winding from this we can obtain the armature voltage so directly connect the voltmeter in parallel with this armature uh, terminals to measure the e naught voltage okay now connect the field winding connect the field winding with the separately dc source so this will give us the field current okay and uh, this will be connected with this excitation winding and negative of excitation winding is connected with the negative of the field excitation voltage so we have take the different values of the different dc voltages and the field currents okay now at the 12 volt uh, the, the 12 volt dc if you are given then 0.045 ampere we are uh, obtaining the current from the field current and armature voltage is going to be increased if we are increasing the different field excitation voltage okay so armature voltage is going to be increased okay so start the prime work selected 110 voltage or 116 okay now this is the uh, 18 volt because of the residual uh, 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 magnetism the armature is generate a small amount of the voltage that is called as a due to the residual magnetism before applying the field excitation to the field winding of the DC generator now excite the field winding up to the 20 volt observe the 
armature voltage armature voltage will be going to be increased because of the lines of cuts of flux are maximum so as you can see at the 20 volt at almost 20 volt we are obtaining the 61 means the voltage is going to be increased okay at 40 volt we are obtaining 91 voltage okay the uh, magnetic means magnetic characteristics is going to be increased magnetism is going to be strengthened one way here up to the 60 volt we are obtaining 1 1 uh, volt from the armature and up to the 80 volt for example the 80 volt up to the 80 or 85 volt we are obtaining 136 volt and up to the 100 volt 147 volt and the field current is also going to be varied that means this is the total uh, plotting of these values that are up to the 20 volt 0 0.05 ampere current and 51 volt 40 volt 0 point field current is increased armature no load voltage is going to be increased because increase in the field excitation current so this was the experiment of the uh, DC field, uh, uh, your DC generator, separately excited DC generator, when it was uh, and when it was connected with the separately excited DC source field winding. And in this uh, experiment, we have uh, uh, understand or observing the magnetic characteristics of the DC generator. That if you are increasing the field current to the field excitation or the field winding of the DC generator then what happened your E0 will be the maximum one because of the lines of the cuts of flux are going to be maximum according to the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction whenever a flux is linking with the coil it changes and EMF is induced in the coil so because of the magnetism is going to be increased in the field winding the lines of cuts of flux will be more and due to the D5 over DT will be maximum and the induced EMF which is the E0 in the armature will be maximum. So this was the experiment of the magnetic characteristics of the DC generator. I hope that you have understood the today's experiment and at the last. Again, I am uh, requesting you that please subscribe my YouTube channel, Shoebe Madayo and uh, your subscription motivates me to make more videos related to electrical engineering uh, area. Thank you very much.